welcome. Welcome to this course on electrothermal management using the ANSYS ICE Pack and HFSS in the AEDT student version. One single user interface for the two different physics, electromagnetics coupled with heat transfer. Heat can degrade the performance and the reliability of electronic devices. Hence, thermal analysis plays a crucial role to see whether the device performs as designed or not. And there can be multiple sources for heat in every electronic circuit. And the electromagnetic losses are just one of the many sources. And these electromagnetic losses can be due to the lossy dielectrics, as well as the finite conductivities of the conductors. And you cannot always choose a dielectric that has minimal losses because of the design constraints. And no conductor really has perfect conductivity. A common trend is also to pack as many components into a small volume. System in a chip, system on a chip, and chip system packages. And many of these devices are also multifunctional. And to activate these devices, we need more current. And with more current, we have more heat, and which can also lead to more losses. And in all of these scenarios, the transmitted power also degrades because of the thermal losses. And there are additional losses due to frequency as well. As we approach 5G and 6G, we're going upwards towards the microwave frequencies. And as we go up in frequency, we also go up with losses, additional propagation losses. Electrothermal management, ETM, of electronic devices and boards means following where the current flows. And as it flows, what is it heating up, causing electrical losses? An electromagnetic simulation, a digital twin, allows us to identify the sources of heat and also to calculate the amount of heat that's generated and the electrical losses due to the temperature change on that model geometry. And our ANSYS EM tools help engineers to visualize the transfer of heat inside the design, giving insights on the performance over temperature. An ETM workflow can be as follows. First, simulate your model design using HFSS or Maxwell or SI Wave or Q3D to determine where the current is flowing and then calculate the EM power loss. And these EM power losses or profiles can then be coupled to the ANSYS ice pack to determine the temperature of the associated model geometry. Ice pack is a CFD solver, a fluid solver, that enables you to analyze conduction, convection, and radiation modes of heat transfer, specifically for high current carrying electronic products. ETM identifies where's the heat loss and how to control it, how to cool it. HFSS results coupled into ice pack is termed as one-way coupling and when HFSS couples directly to ice pack. If the temperature information from the ice pack is then coupled back into the HFSS model, which contains temperature dependent material that may induce additional heat loss and hence additional EM losses. And this is termed two-way coupling. HFSS to ice pack and then back into HFSS. So in this course, we're going to show you both one-way and a two-way coupled workflow. Thank you for watching this introductory summary on our ETM workflow using HFSS and ice pack in the ANSYS electronic desktop. And for more information on our ANSYS electronic tools or any of our ANSYS simulation tools, please go to courses.ansys.com today.